conflict and violence leave a legacy of fragility on people and countries. Infrastructure is damaged, jobs are lost, people are displaced and wounds need to heal. Despite this, with collective action, countries are able to lead themselves towards peace and resilience successfully. The G7 Plus group of countries was conceived in December 2008, post Accra High Level Forum, and was inaugurated in April 2010 in Dili during the first international dialogue on peacebuilding and statebuilding. The G7 Plus are 20 countries recognized as the voice of nearly 1.5 billion people across Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean. It is comprised of countries that are parted by culture, geography, and politics, but share common experiences of conflict and fragility. Combined, the G7 Plus's shared knowledge and experiences can ensure peacebuilding and statebuilding are achieved autonomously, without the need for traditional development interventions. The leadership of each country of G7 Plus must be aware of this. I said the peace will come if we all, in our society, we put the national interest above all. This global conference on the 2030 Agenda in fragile and conflict-affected states can advance prevention, my top priority as a Secretary General. I thank Timor Leste for hosting and sharing its valuable experience. The 2030 Agenda was adopted with a pledge to leave no one behind and reach those furthest behind first. To achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, we have to reach more vulnerable people and renew our focus on prevention, sustaining peace and peace building. We also need to take a hard look at the drivers of violent conflict, which include inequality, unemployment, climate change, and misuse of natural resources. Sustainable development and sustaining peace go hand in hand. Let us affirm our commitment to both. I wish you great success at this conference. The United Nations stands ready to support your work for a safer and more sustainable future. Thank you. Está aberta a conferência. Muito obrigado. Until ET more Lesta over the past two days, we have hosted high-level delegates, participants, and guests from all over the world. fragile and conflict-affected countries. Also, representatives of the United Nations and other international organizations for a global conference on the 2030 Agenda and the pursuit of the Sustainable Development Goals in fragile and conflict-affected states. This event was co-hosted by the G7 Plus and the government of Timor-Leste with the aim of discussing and sharing experiences in the context of the 2030 Agenda. The new global development agenda that has been promoted by the United Nations and endorsed by all the countries in the world. This conference has been quite important to get the message across that if we don't achieve the sustainable development goals in fragile and conflict-affected states, we certainly won't ensure the success of this agenda at the global level. It was in Timor-Leste in Dili that took place the first meeting of the International Dialogue on Peacebuilding and Statebuilding in 2010. It is here in Timor-Leste that the G7 Plus Secretariat has its headquarters. Prime Minister of Timor-Leste is a member of the high-level group of champions of the Sustainable Development Goals, so it makes perfect sense that Timor-Leste 
in keeping with its global leadership role in this domain, has invited guests and delegates from all over the world to come here in order to share their experiences and discuss these global challenges. In this conference, we had the pleasure and the honor to count on the high-level participation of guests, delegates, and participants from several G7 Plus countries, including ministerial-level delegates from countries like Afghanistan, South Sudan, Central African Republic, and Sierra Leone. In the case of Sierra Leone, in representation of the G7 Plus chair, given that the current chair is from Sierra Leone, In addition to that, at the technical level, we also benefited from the participation of delegates from Somalia, Solomon Islands, Yemen, and Liberia, who were able to attend this conference and bring us their thoughts and experiences, which contributed significantly to the discussions that took place over these last two days. At the end of the morning session, Minister Ambrose Thick from South Sudan took this opportunity to invite Minister Shanana Guzmao, G7 Plus eminent person, to travel to South Sudan in order to actively contribute to a dialogue and reconciliation initiative between the parties to the conflict in that country. The 2030 Global Development Agenda includes 17 Sustainable Development Goals, all of which are inseparable and indispensable. But there is a clear notion that in the case of countries affected by conflict and fragility, peace building is a precondition for progresses in all other dimensions. All countries, particularly the G7 countries, need to have a clear roadmap. Diversification of our economy and uh, developing skills in different sectors is one of the major uh, um, plans that we want to carry out in our country. I want to tell my colleague ministers for them to be really serious and be committed in the pursuit of accomplishing this goal. Particularly goal 16 uh, which talks about peace, talks about justice, talks about inclusiveness. Uh, and sustainability is very important to us. And I think uh, uh, by 2030, we'll be able to speak. We are free at last from poverty. I love my country so much, and I want the best for my country. <laughs> <laughs>